welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. Very short hunt today. Um, I've been zooming around eyeballing new sites, but I just thought I'll just finish off this hill while I'm here. <laughs> Start off with my compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Look at that size of that. Usually bring me luck these things. Well, that looks like a manager seal, um, perhaps Archangel. Right over here by the gate, look. My goodness. A lot of junk down here, but uh, there's a nice uh, 1862 Victorian penny, bronze. Aye, ah, silver sixpence. 1933. Half silver. Silver? Uh -huh. Hey, bell seal. Down deep, look. Deep, deep, deep. Coming in on a click, click, wing and a prayer. And another one coming in on a wing and a prayer. Tiniest little signal. Deep, deep, deep. I think that's 1835, possibly. <sighs> Numbered lead tag. Oh, it's that hot. Sweat's running down and into my eyes and stinging. <sighs> Shall work my way to the car and have a break. Oh, moi. Sweating. <laughs> oh dear. It's hot. Oh, time for a break. I've been just trying this uh, new spot on the edge and uh, mostly I'm picking up modern coins. Look. Um, bits of bronze, bits of crap. A couple of seals, three seals actually. And a silver sixpence, so that can't be too bad. Oh, let's have some happy juice. <laughs> and another one. Just on the edge of where I've been. And and some of them deep, deep, deep. That wasn't that give a nice signal, 76. And another one. I'm not going very far away from the car, I'm staying close by because it's gonna rain shortly, so they say. Uh, but they're still coming up, look. A uh, small bronze half penny. Edward Seven, uh, 1903, about 110 years old, isn't it? <laughs> and another one. Uh, you know, turning off the iron sound completely, it, I, I love it. Every little sound I hear now, um, I can give attention to. Because when I had the iron on, I, I was getting all sorts of weird clicks and clunks and but now it's completely silent unless I'm going over something ferrous. Except a big chunk of iron, of course. <laughs> and that usually comes in about uh, 50 or 60 on a low glunk. A glunk. <laughs> but better with no iron volume at all, I'm finding. <laughs> Dog tag, but it's got Black Bull Hotel on it. Might have been for a key, but probably for the dog at the hotel. You know, some of these are down that deep oh god i'm gonna get onto it <coughs> unbelievable depth look easy 12 inch red bell seal 1936 quite th th there was nothing there i dug that up because i felt there was something there the signal was was it, it just wasn't there but, oh, must be psychic. And uh, 1834. I'm getting these by crisscrossing somewhere where I've had them before and listening for the slightest little tick. And they're down deep. Deeper than this, I'm going to need a... Well, a pulse induction's no good here. There's too much iron. Anybody think they can get deeper than this dais? Uh, you're welcome to come along. Oh yeah, button. Need cleaning. And another one. I've just been over this. But uh, I've taken all the obvious out and now I'm going back and just taking out all the little ticks. And they're all proving to be bale seals. And another one. Right, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you've got a, a patch that you've already done and it was pretty good, then go over it 
again with your iron volume turned completely off and dig up any little signals you get and you'll find that they're, they're goodies down deep but while the iron's on and you can hear the iron you can't hear the others so turn it all okay dug it out search round no signal guess where it is stuck to the end of my shovel look it's a coin <laughs> tell you what it is in a minute I need two hands to get it George 3rd 1806 yay a copper half penny and another one been over all of this ground keep telling you uh, I've cleared out most of the obvious stuff and now the uh, the tiny stuff is becoming apparent and another one 1836 uh, if you look around I've left some soil on the top put the sods back but left a bit of soil on the top everywhere to show you just how close these things are together patches of them and then there's another patch there look on that hillside just there another two feet another one 1826 message here is when you find something down deep turn off the iron go slow and dig up every little click when you know there's something down there two feet further on there's another one sadly mangled but it's there another two feet and another one right oh 25 is that yeah i'm just going up to the car for a drink it's only up there look <laughs> well, a quick count up i've got about another hour left yet uh 14 seals and a silver sixpence not bad and a couple of coins and odds and ends all come out that one little patch down deep once i find one and i know that they're there then i can start searching deep right duly refreshed come back down in among all this muck <laughs> Having another quick search, and there's another one hiding away. 1825. Right, with all seals up above me there, and seals all down below me here, I thought, what's up with this bit in the middle? So I've had another go at it, and there we are, hiding away. Let's see if there's any more. Right, I don't know what you are. You're uh, not quite lead, I think you're more pewterish. Uh, I thought you were a seal, but I, there's no wires going through it. All I can do is clean it up when we get home. And another one. The numbers were, were trying to tell me, no really, it was iron, but it wasn't worth digging. <laughs> Varaxi. 14 posts there. Eh? Nice one. Oh, hard one, that one. 1826 oh god this sun's killing me they reckon it's gonna rain any minute but oh. I shall work my way up here and give it up I think I've done very well for an hour or two and another one 1836 right next to it well I think I've got the settings right to find these things now 1835 <laughs> I'm going to go over where I've been everywhere else <laughs> not today but deep deep searching quick break back in <laughs> oh dear I've only done a small section I've never been more than 100 feet from the car but they keep turning up that's 21 now today Uh, number 22. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, is that a four? Oh, it's six. 26. Oh dear. Who else do you know who can say, right, I'm going out today, I'm, I'm going to pick up a few uh, Russian flax lead bale seals. <laughs> and come back with 22. <laughs> 
keep saying, it's the sight that counts, and this sight is absolutely littered with these things. Uh, 1835. Number 23. Can you see me car there, look? <laughs> Where are we? There, 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 there. Whew. Going slow, going deep, digging up every little tinkle. Number 24. Uh, look, I'm only five, six feet away from the other one. Uh, this is flicking into the iron section of the horseshoe on occasions. But remember, these are lead. They're, they're not. Um, they're not bronze. They're not coppers. They're not silvers. And the machine's doing its best, and analyzer's doing its best, and it's saying, oh, it's not a coin, it's not a coin, <laughs> and it isn't. <laughs> ah, rather have one of these than a coin. Thank you. Right, it's getting too hot. <laughs> it's supposed to rain, but it's getting too hot. There you go, 24. 24 seals and a silver sixpence. Ah, can't be bad. So, ah, uh, we'll say farewell to this. <laughs> I've only been here, <laughs> just over this little rise where you can't see, out to that road, that little road, and that telegraph pole. That's it. Done well. See you at the roundup. I think I'll take my wife out to tea. Hello there. Welcome to the roundup. Ha <laughs> ha! Another good day today. Um. I'm going to have to share the uh, the stove top this evening with um, you've heard of pork spare ribs well these are beef huge beef ribs delicious nom, nom, nom. <laughs> right back to business <laughs> scrap height um, bits of lead a lot less than uh, West House though um, I wondered what that was it's just a lid off something this comes from near one of them electricity pylons. You always get these things on them pylons. They must lose millions of them. Little snap clip there. Uh, broke. Bearing. Nice. Nice bronze bearing that from the mill out of the machinery. Uh, gun metal. Worth a bother too. A uh, couple of rings. Nothing, nothing exciting. Um, little numbered tags which they fasten to the linen um, in the bleaching fields. We'll skip those for the moment. Uh, now, I thought that was a seal, it isn't. Uh, it's just a bit of lead. Now, this, uh, this has got me. It is something, it was a medallion. Uh, there's a, a hole there which has long since gone look just there uh, it's not lead it's pewter but there you go there's nothing on it little I thought was a button change my mind it's got a, a spike on the back look for sticking into something could very well be the smallest little horse brass I've ever seen in my life <laughs> Uh, Cos it would have been shite, but uh, shite, shining bright. <laughs> I've had a long day. <laughs> they stick through the leather and just bend over. But there, there would have been a lot of them. They were very, 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 very fancy. Now coins. Uh, oh, 1970s, 90s, something like this. Penny, penny, 5p, 20p. Um, actually... 2p dog token from the Black Bull Hotel. My goodness. A ship, half penny, 1960. 1903, Edward Seven, half penny. There's the laddie. 1862, getting back a bit now. Um, Bit, bit grotty, it's it's eaten into. A bit sad that. But uh, I seem to get a lot of 1862 pennies. Then, 
uh, George III, 1806. There's Britannia on the back, you can just see it. So we're back to 1806. Uh, that's over 200 years. Little bit of silver, yeah! <laughs> uh, 1933. But it's a bit of silver and it keeps getting in the way of my seals. <laughs> now talking of seals, I did very well again. New technique I'm using, I'm running silent with the iron turned off and I'm searching deep and it is working. Um, I've, put, I've done this area before and I'm pulling these up uh, from deeper down on that same patch where I know they are. But uh, it seems to be working. So now I've got to go over all the other patches and see what I've missed there down deep. What we got? We got 19, 1825's, 26. Uh, possible 27, um, 34, 35s, um, 35s, 36s. So it's from 1825 to 1836. Quite a nice little selection. I want these on the bottom. Again, 36, 36s, uh, 35. And this, which is definitely a, a seal, it's got the writing in there, but it's it's one of these um, archangel type efforts, I think. They made them out of, uh, see that's where the wire went through there, they made them out of pewter instead of lead. And they, they're just not up to the job. Falling apart. I don't straighten it, this is pewter, it'll just crack. Lead would bend, but pewter, pewter breaks. But I've, I've got quite a few of these, so I'm not, I'll be able to identify it. It's a big manager seal, see how much bigger it is compared to the rest. There you go, another 24, which now gives me 469 seals from this site. It's fair getting on some, plus another 155 from the West House, um, looking at 624 Russian bale seals in three months. This is one, f you know, <laughs> I think I've got my hand in on bale seals. <laughs> anyway, look, they're out there, but you need to find the site where they are. So... Get out there, go get it. Look, a bit of silver. I thought it had forsaken me. <laughs> it's out there. Go get it. Till I see you next time, you take care. Bye. Look at the silver. Yay.